Guest characters in fighting games, something that's been around for damn near two decades now, including in Mortal Kombat. Some people love this, some people hate this, but regardless of how you feel, it seems like we're stuck with guest characters for the foreseeable future when it comes to Mortal Kombat installments. Hey, what's up guys? Dynasty back at it again with another Mortal Kombat video. Now, the other day I had a 20 minute jam-packed video breaking down pretty much most of Ed Boon's most recent Q&A where he discussed Mortal Kombat 12, Injustice 3, kept tweeting out 23, kind of teasing like a reveal coming out next year. Some people were talking about that being like the 23 of December, which I'm gonna try to shoot down with another Ed Boon tweet, but today we're discussing guest characters because I could not fit these guest character questions in that 20 minute video. I mean, I could have, but the video would have gone on for like 30 minutes and I did not want my first video back in eight months to just be a TV episode, so. Today, we're discussing some guest characters that almost made Mortal Kombat. One, two, three females, which would have been great. Also, Ed Boon reveals his dream guest character for a Mortal Kombat game. Shoots down a certain character I've seen requested for years. Also mentions one character in particular who he thinks might fit nicely in Mortal Kombat 12. And of course, lastly, just as recent as I think two days ago, Boon came out and asked the community if there was one type of guest character pack in particular that we'd be more excited to see than the others, those being an action pack, a horror pack, or a comic pack. So a bunch to unpack today. Uh, that was a cringy pun. I love you guys. Drop a like if you're stoked for this, and well, let's get into it. So first things first, let's just shoot down the idea that the 23 he's been tweeting out and teasing is in regards to the 23rd of December, a lot of people are having some crazy theories saying, hey, just wait 10 days. You'll see, the 23 is for December 23rd, right before Christmas, Christmas miracle. And I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but during the Q&A, Boone has asked this right here, are we gonna get anything for New Year's? Like, literally anything. And to that, Boone said, on or before New Year's, no. There you go. If I was a betting man, I would not bet on this. The next six months, yes. The next two weeks, no. So if you're seeing some theories saying that in 10 days, the 23rd December means a new reveal for another next game or a tease, I, I, I just don't, don't fall for it. I don't think it's happening. I 0.0000000001% chance maybe, but I, guys, come on. He, he literally told us within six months and not before New Year's. You feel me? You feel me. Now let's discuss the guest characters. So. First things first, Dreamy on Twitter asked Boone, what female guest characters would you want in Mortal Kombat? To that, Boone said, over the years, we've considered pursued Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Ripley from Alien, Sarah Connor from The Terminator, and several others. Now, this is, to me, heartbreaking because though we got the skins for Sarah Connor and Ripley in Mortal Kombat 11 for Jackie and Sonya, it's still not the full-blown character. You know what I mean? Like, that would've just hit a lot different. And that sucks. As for Buffy, uh, I guess there's always still hope for Buffy. I know going back to the days of Mortal Kombat 9, Mortal Kombat 10, Boone's always teased this idea of Buffy the Vampire Slayer being a guest character in Mortal Kombat, but if he's coming out flat out and saying that they've considered a pursuit and it's not happened, that doesn't really seem like it's likely to happen. It seems like it's almost not gonna happen because he's talking about it, so. This one breaks my heart a lot. I wish we could have got all three as their own full-fledged unique characters because I think it's been Long overdue to have a female guest character in a Mortal Kombat game, so I'm crossing my fingers and hoping Mortal Kombat 12, we get somebody from this list. Honestly, I really do hope we get Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I think she'd be perfect, especially if we get like Natara. The Buffy and Natara intros in Mortal Kombat 12 could be amazing. I want to see that happen so bad, but yes, three characters considered slash pursued by another studios to be guests in Mortal Kombat, Buffy, Ripley, Sarah Connor, and even a few more. Cross your fingers, never say never, but for me, I'm going to try to just not get my expectations too high. Next up, Boone has asked, what's your dream guest character for a Mortal Kombat game? To that, he said, Ryu from Street Fighter. And again, that is like the dream for, I think, a lot of people. I think MK versus Street Fighter is something that we all have been clamoring for our entire lives, and it seems like it's never going to happen, sadly. But again, just like the last question, never say never, but I would not bet on that, just like 
you know, in 10 days, getting another reveal for Mortal Kombat 12. <laughs> Speaking of not to get your hopes up for something, if you are a fan of Berserk and Guts, and you think that maybe that would be a perfect guess for Mortal Kombat 12, sadly, it seems like Boone doesn't even know who that is. And I've seen Guts from Berserk asked for for probably the last five years as well. So, <laughs> Whew, I'm sorry, Berserk fans. It's uh, it's not looking too good there. I will say, if you are a fan of the boys and Homelander, you got some decent chances here because Boone was asked, will Homelander be a guest character in the next Mortal Kombat installment? And to that, he said he would fit in nicely. Now, if we're going to get Homelander... Can we get Omni-Man? I'm sorry, but I, I think Omni-Man would be great. I think Omni-Man would be amazing. I understand that, you know, Homelander is great and all, but I'm sorry, Homelander would not stand a chance to Omni-Man, in my opinion. Maybe I'm just a sucker for the mustache, but I want to see Omni-Man so bad in Mortal Kombat. So Homelander fans rejoice. Maybe within the next six months to a year, we get to see him inside a Mortal Kombat game. Never say never. Now, during his most recent Q&A, he was pretty much asked the exact same question twice, which was, would we ever see previous guest characters return in some type of DLC pack or some way? And to that, the response was this. Good question. I've always wondered if fans would like to see previous DLC fighters return. Imagine a DLC pack featuring Alien, Predator, Robocop, and Terminator. Now, in the same vein again, somebody said, could we ever see some past guest characters, whether they be Mortal Kombat and Justice, return in some way? And to that, Boone said yes. But I'm not sure the best way to handle that. Now, within a few days, Boone came out and decided how to handle that. He said, what DLC fighter pack remake would you be most hyped for? A, an action pack including Alien, Predator, Terminator, Robocop. B, a horror pack including Jason, Freddy, Texas Chainsaw, plus one new. C, comic pack, Spawn, Joker, and Ninja Turtles, and Batgirl. And so that's... I voted for a horror pack because I think if you're gonna have blood and guts in Mortal Kombat, you gotta have the horror icons in the game. And to no one's surprise, number one was the horror pack at 40%, number two was the action pack at 30%, number three, the comic pack at 28%, all relatively close. But hey, horror fighting game, where are you at? Terry Jones great, but man, could you imagine a full-fledged horror fighting game with a bunch of licensed characters? That's my dream, personally. I don't think it'll ever happen, but maybe. Just maybe, MK12, Jason, Freddy, Texas Chainsaw, and one new. I think initially, too, which is really funny, is on this voting poll, Boone included Michael Myers, then apologized for doing it, and then removed him from the voting poll. And this is just a few days removed from him confirming that back in the day, they tried to get Michael Myers in a Mortal Kombat game as a guest, but they weren't allowed to do it because they could not get their hands on the license. So... Hmm, Michael Myers or Mortal Kombat 12? Is it happening? Was it a mistake on the voting poll? Huh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Now, before you say, oh, it's just a random voting poll, Boone was asked, how do you decide guest characters for Mortal Kombat? To that, he said, team votes, fan feedback, license availability, and going back to the days of Mortal Kombat X, we know these voting polls have proven to be legit. If it's in a voting poll, chances are it's meaningful. And well, hey, maybe we get that horror pack in Mortal Kombat 12. And maybe, maybe the red herring was Michael Myers and the whole tweet delete thing he went through. So guys, that's all I got for y'all today. A nice update on guest characters in Mortal Kombat in the future, in the past, in the present. They're here to stay. I know some of you guys hate this idea, but it is what it is for the casual audience. It's just, you know, it's... It's a great way for them to actually try out Mortal Kombat characters and get into the franchise. Because, oh, wait, I know that guy from that movie. It's it's a marketing tactic, and it works, you know? So it's never leaving. I... <laughs> Embrace it while it's here, guys. That's all I'm saying. Embrace it while it's here. Anyways, what do you all think of this? What voting pack did you vote for? Voting pack? Which DLC fighter pack did you vote for if you did vote in this voting poll? The action pack, the horror pack, or the comic pack? Are you still thinking Mortal Kombat 12 is dropping next year and not in Justice 3, at least getting revealed anyway? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Which female guest character would you want to see? Also, intrigued to hear your guys' opinions on that. So next time, though, I've been your host, Madonna. So guys, please take care stay safe. If you have not already, go follow me on Twitch. I've been streaming a lot over on Twitch lately. Some classic 3D era Mortal Kombat, even some Mortal Kombat 11 occasionally. So if you are interested in seeing some more of me in your life, that'll be linked down below. 
I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support since I've been coming back. You're the best. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.